Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at what all men crave. Power. Specifically, V-mount batteries for the Canon C200 and other digital cinema cameras. So when you buy your camera, you get sweet little uh, 45 watt hour battery that gives you about 180 minutes, I think, maybe 200 minutes. And when you're shooting, you've always got to keep your eye on that little, uh, little number in the bottom right hand corner of the monitor to be like, oh, I've got 90 minutes left. Oh, I've got 45 minutes left. Oh, should I change the battery now? Should I change it later? One more take. Um, to say nothing of powering all the other accessories that you might have on your camera, like lights, like your monitor, like EVF, um, like a wireless system to send HDMI or SDI to, uh, to the director's monitor. So people um, started coming up with uh, ways to have an external battery pack that powered the camera um, and everything else in one pack. So the way they work is you have a battery plate like this, which can attach to the 15 millimeter rails. Um, you have your batteries that slide on like this. And then on the battery plate itself and on the batteries, there are, um, D-tap or P-tap, it's complicated. They're essentially the same thing. Um, there was different patterns at different times uh, for what that was called, but essentially the, um, the same little uh, dev two-pronged device that then you get cables that run out of this powering by battery that power everything else on the camera. We're gonna look at three different kind of styles of the um, V-mount. Now, all of these come also come in gold mount, which again is a diff, just like a beta VHS sort of thing. You get V-mount and gold mount. It's just this little clip on the back that holds um, the uh, battery to the plate or to the camera. So the battery that comes with the camera, in this case, a C200B, um, is a 45 watt hour battery. If you wanna buy another one, um, it'll cost you $270 US plus tax. Where you can go and buy a block battery like this, this one's from IndiePro, um, that has 95 watt hours for about the same price. I think these are $300. So for $25 more, you're getting twice the capacity. Um, this one has, it's pretty basic. This is sort of where V-mount batteries start. Um, it's sort of large uh, in form factor. It's um, 14 volts, there's a little button on the side that tells you how many um, powers left because it doesn't send that information through to your camera. Your camera is no longer gonna know um, how much battery life is left. But the good thing is that when you're shooting with V-mounts, you can also leave the camera battery in. So the this will burn through um, the power in this and then it'll go on to the 160 minutes um, on your uh, Canon battery. So you've always got it won't power the accessories and you'll know because they'll cut out. I leave one battery, um, one LP6 in the director's viewfinder and I leave the battery in the Canon so that um, I don't even look at this while I'm shooting and then once the power starts counting down on both of those, I know I have to change my um, V-mounts. The next more advanced um, type of battery is this mini battery. Um, as you can see, it's about uh, it's two thirds the size or three quarters the size. Um, same capacity, so it's just more compact and you're paying probably an extra 50 to $100 um, for the smaller size, uh, it's much more compact. It also has uh, a USB tap on it. So that means that if you have a HDMI transmitter like I do, um, you don't have to get a D-tap to, uh, to USB, you can now power just direct USB to USB, which you probably already have. These are both by IndiePro uh, from New York. You might wonder why this one's 95 and this one's 98. So they're just keeping it under 100 watt hours. The reason is that you can't fly with over 100 watt hour lithium ion batteries. Um, the FAA deems that this is, uh, over 100 is too much of a risk. Um, that it could, if it caught fire, it could cause serious damage. So um, only under 100 watt hours is considered safe. This beast. Um, is made by Shape, the same people that make um, my camera rig. Uh, they've just got into the um, battery game. Um, this one is 270 watt hours. So this will power, uh, it's significantly heavier than the 95 watt hour, 98 watt hour. Um, this will power your camera, your monitor, your transmitter, um, a light, a second monitor, an EVF, pretty much all day, right? So it's, um, it's almost three times 
the capacity of this, which is already double the capacity of the one in your camera. So this is like, uh, if you were shooting so much that you went through six um, normal Canon batteries, uh, you would still be on a single, um, a single 270 watt hour battery. Great thing is about this is it's also very compact. Um, one of the reasons I love shooting with it um, with such a large battery is it puts much more weight at the back of my shoulder rig when I'm shooting uh, handheld. Uh, the advantage of that is you don't have to, you know, back in the DSLR days, we had this tiny little camera at the front and then you would actually be putting more weight with like lead on your, on your shoulder to try, to try and uh, keep the, the rig weighted so that it wasn't constantly falling forward. Something like this, you can have the camera and a heavy lens on it and still have the rig so nicely balanced that you can take your hands off it or hold it with one finger and it'll sit nicely on your shoulder. So um, so they're the batteries. How do you charge them? Well, you have single, you have dual chargers like this one. Uh, so you can charge uh, the batteries two at a time. The other advantage is that this has DC out. So if you have a light or... Um, something else, but all I can think of now is a light. Uh, there's a four pin DC out here. You can essentially use these two um, 14 volt batteries as a much larger battery to power a light. So it's essentially one big battery. So this one, you can put four huge V-mount batteries on it and use this to char to power a really powerful light um, like my Lupo um, Dayled 2K uh, for a really long time. I was watching one of Shane Hilbert's uh, Instagram stories and he I think he works with a company called Blue Shape um, or he has hundreds and hundreds of their batteries there's just like a whole wall um, of batteries he had on charge which I thought was crazy but uh, obviously if you're working on a large scale and you have um, three or four or five cameras um, all of which need to have a battery to run everything a second battery ready and a third battery charging then you have five cameras you need 15 batteries uh, if you have lights as well you could have that many again so there is there is a foreseeable um, scenario under which you'd have like 30 or more um, v-mount batteries on set but the huge advantage to filmmaking is that it just gives you flexibility it means you can take really bright lights uh, a long way from power not have to run a generator that kills your sound not have to um, run cables um, and with all these new great led fixtures out there um, you can do double duty with the uh, batteries that you have, use them to power the camera, use them to power lights. It's just a great system to have that's super flexible and just frees us from the limitations that um, filmmaking used to have. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, leave the questions in the comments and I will see you next time.